Hey, what's up guys, it's Jordan. Today I want to try something a bit different with my countdown. We've had lots of news lately about different things about Pokemon, like the Zygarde forms, the new Ash Greninja. There's a few things going on, and like, it's getting to the time where a new generation, if there is going to be one, could be announced. So I thought this would be a great time just to give my thoughts on what I would like to see in Gen 7. When they brought out the Zygarde forms, new Zygarde forms, you know, you got the cell form, you got the core form, you got the 10% speedy dog form, you got the 50% serpent dragon like form that we've come to know and love, and we got the perfect form. And I remember when the core form was first shown, people went crazy. They thought this was going to be a Gen 7 Pokemon. Or, well, I kind of thought it was going to be something to do with Zygarde because it kind of looked like Zygarde. The possibility was there that it could have been a Gen 7 thing. So this countdown is going to be a top 10, not a top 5, because top 5 just isn't enough what I want in Gen 7. And so before we begin, of course, these are based on my personal opinions, personal favorites, whatever. I guarantee not one person will 100% agree with my top 10. So don't take any offense to what I say. These are just what I feel, just what I want to see. And yeah, if you have it different, which you all will, make sure you let me know yours in the comment section below. And make sure you hit that like button, because like always, you know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you're a fan of Pokemon and you're not subscribed to me yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So before we get to our top 10, like any good countdown, let's go to our honorable mentions. First honorable mention is Red. Straight out, Red. I want to see Red again. I really, really, really want to see Red again. It would just be perfect to bring him back, because... Everyone loves Red. When you played the Gen 2 games, and Red was that final battle, after you've gotten all 16 badges, you've beaten the Elite Four a second time, there was anything else to do, then you realize you can go to Mount Silver, climb all the way to the top, and verse Red. And he had the strongest Pokemon of any trainer in the whole game. I so badly want to see Red again. And in Gen 7, God, bring Red back as that final battle again. I know it's been done before, but God, if you want to do something different, make his Pokemon level 100 and give him like the perfect move sets, give him all an item, just make him the hardest trainer you've ever had to battle. I just love to see Red again. Second honorable mention is the GTS. I just want to see an improved GTS. And the main thing is obviously with trading, like I don't do GTS trading a whole lot. I'm more of a wonder trade kind of guy. I find that more fun. And then if I want another Pokemon, I can just, like if I want one specific Pokemon, I just find a game that I have because I got pretty much all the Pokemon games. I find a game that's got that Pokemon in it and then I trade it over to my, my newer games. That's what I do. There are Pokemon I do try to get from GTS. The irritating thing, and I bet everyone agrees with me on this, why the fuck would I trade you a Mewtwo for your Pidgey? Why? I wouldn't do it. I would not trade a legendary for a piss weak little level 5 Pokemon. I wouldn't. Why the fuck would anyone do it? You'd be an idiot. I'm sorry if that offends someone, but why? We wouldn't do it. Seriously, if I was extremely desperate for a fucking Magikarp, and I just wanted one right now, and they said I had to give a Mewtwo for the Magikarp, Fuck the magic cup, I'll wait. The point I'm trying to get to with the GTS is that they should change it so if you want a legendary Pokemon, you offer a legendary Pokemon. And then, so if you want a piss weak little Pokemon, you gotta trade a piss weak little Pokemon. Just make it fair, make it so it's not unbalanced with what you're trading. Cause it's just not fair. Just like, so I'm using little examples like Pidgey, Magikarp, like little Pokemon. I'm saying, even Pokemon like, I can't think of ones off the top of my head, but think of a Pokemon that you have a lot of trouble trying to find. It's not like a legendary, it's not a little piss weak Pokemon. It's a Pokemon like, I don't know, um, like a fossil Pokemon or, mate, yeah, starters. <laughs> oh god, Pokemon like, I don't know, a Machoke, a Kadabra, a Poliwhirl, Pokemon like that. Some games, they're hard to find, so... In GTS, even Pokemon like that, people are still asking for Legendary. God, they're asking for fucking Pokemon like Volcanion and Hooper, which are pretty much impossible to get. And on top of that, they're asking for level 100. Why the fuck would we do that? <laughs> Mind you, I don't have a Hooper or a Volcanion. Um, I want one, but I don't have them. So, I wouldn't do it anyway. But you get the point that I'm trying to get to. <laughs> just improve the GTS. And the third and last honorable mention is just gym leader rematches. Like, I know in every game you get the Elite Four rematches and champion, whatever. And in some games you do get the gym leader rematches. It's just a good part of the games. In Gen 7, I definitely want to see gym leader rematches. Go back so after you beat the Elite Four, you can go and battle gym leaders again. 
and God, make all the gym leaders Pokemon in like around level 50, 60, whatever you want to do. Make them a challenge. God, put them up to like level 80 or something. It'll just make it a challenge and it'll just be fun. And don't make it you can only just do one rematch against the gym leaders. Make it so you can do multiple rematches, like as many as you want. It's just, it's a good part of the game. And some of your favorite gym leaders, it'd just be good just to go back. Like if I, in Gen 7, saw a gym leader that became like my favorite gym leader of all time, I would want to verse him more than once. I want to have a rematch against him after I kick his ass. And I don't mean reset the game and then play again. I mean play again after I've beaten him the first time. Do it multiple times. I like gym leader rematches. They're just fun. Just bring it back. <laughs> all right, so moving on to my top 10. This is my top 10 things that I want to see in Pokemon Generation 7. Right, number 10, Battle Frontier. I would just love to see the Battle Frontier again. The Battle Frontier in Gen 3 was just absolutely awesome. I loved it so much, and it pissed off a lot of people when they didn't have the Battle Frontier in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It was like before Pokemon Battle Frontier was around, but I think the main reason for not having the Battle Frontier in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was because it was a remake of Ruby and Sapphire, and you didn't have the Battle Frontier. If they were to do a remake of Emerald, which they won't do, but if they did, most likely they would have the Battle Frontier. Because if not, people would just go ape shit. I just really want to see the Battle Frontier again. It was so much fun having all the seven Frontier brains, having completely different battle styles, different things you had to do in their battles. And it was just fun. The one that I liked the most in the Battle Frontier, I think it was the Battle Factory, where you could battle just using completely random Pokemon. And I found that really fun, just being able to pick a Pokemon you would never use and just, yeah, using them. Most of the stuff you could do at the Battle Frontier was just fun. Like, you had the Battle Resort in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so at least they had that. But I just want Battle Frontier back. It was so much fun and every single person wants the Battle Frontier back. I know if Gen 7 comes out, it won't be the same Frontier Brains, but could you make it then? <laughs> or bring new ones? I really don't care. I just want Battle Frontier back. Number 9 is a pretty obvious one. Just new Pokemon. I just want... A lot of new Pokemon. I always love when new generations come out. The main thing I love about it is just you get to see new Pokemon. You get to experience battling with new Pokemon. New typings, new moves, new designs, just new everything. It's just so much fun. And the one of the most sucky things about X and Y was that, what, there was 70 new Pokemon. That included evolutions. When Gen 7 eventually comes out, I want to see a lot more Pokemon. One of the good things about Gen 5 was that they had more new Pokemon than any other generation. Even though a lot of them I had troubles with, or they were just copies off of older Pokemon, it was just great seeing new Pokemon. That's what I loved about Gen 5. As much as I bag on it, it does have its good qualities. If and when Gen 7 comes out, I just want new Pokemon. I just want a lot of new Pokemon, new typings. We could get new typings. We got Fairy in Gen 6. God, what have we got now? I can't think off the top of my head. What? Light type? I guess that's too close to fairy or electric, I guess, but I don't know. Just bring out a new type. It'd be so awesome. Wasn't there a moment when light type, people thought light type was actually going to become a thing? I can't remember. But just like new dual typings for Pokemon. Use dual typings. Like there's plenty that have not been used yet. Now I've seen a picture where it says like all the dual types have not been used. I think this picture was before Pokemon Omega Ruby Nav Sapphire because like Grass Dragon and Dragon Fairy still, like, wasn't a thing, but now we got Mega Sceptile and uh, Mega Altaria. They're Megas, though, so bring out Pokemon that do have Grass Dragon or Dragon Fairy. Please bring out a Dragon and Fairy that's not a Mega. I would love to see that. Bring out, like, yeah, you got new starters, new dual typings that we haven't seen, so that means no fire and fucking fighting types. I don't want to see it. I want to see fire and, I don't know, bug. And then bring out new legendaries, new evolutions. I'll get to that. And, God, new fossils. And I actually, one fossil, god, bring out a Velociraptor fossil Pokemon. We haven't got a Velociraptor yet. When they saw Tyrant and Tyrantrum in Gen 6, they went nuts. They wanted a T-Rex fossil, including me. I wanted one, and we got it, and I was so excited. Bring out a Velociraptor, and I think, don't even give it an evolution. Just bring out one fossil Velociraptor Pokemon. Make it Rock and Dragon, like Tyrant and Tyrantrum were. Make it high speed, give it awesome moves. And yeah, don't give it an evolution. Make it like Aerodactyl. Just don't give it an evolution. Make it awesome. God, make it like Aerodactyl and give it a Mega Evolution if you want. Just, yeah, a lot more Pokemon in Gen 7. I just want to see a lot more. Just at least do better than Gen 6. Bring out 71 Pokemon. Please bring more than 71 Pokemon out. So at number 8, we've got just new Megas. I just talked about new Pokemon. Now let's go on new Megas. Now, in the last 
to your games, they've been bringing out new Megas. They're going to bring out new Megas. When, if and when Gen 7 comes out, they're going to bring new Megas out, because they're going to bring Megas for every final form of every Pokemon. They're going to have to do it, otherwise people are going to get really pissed off. They're going to have to. So, obviously, there's going to be another Pokemon game in the future, because we need more Megas. That's pretty much it, just bring new Megas out. For Pokemon that should get Megas, well, obviously, I think Johto starters. That would be the one everyone would think. you got Kanto starters, you got Hoenn starters. Go between, give us the Johto Megas. Something they haven't done yet. Bring Megas out for Gen 5 or Gen 6 Pokemon. Please do that, because we only got it to Gen 4. I can't think of some head of any Gen 5 Megas that they have yet. So, yeah, bring us some Gen 5 and 6 Megas. I know lots of people have Gen 5 or 6 as their favourite game, so they would be so happy to get new Megas for them. But God, some older Pokemon, which people are wondering why they haven't got Megas yet. Because, you know, there's so many old classics that we need Megas for. Dragonite. Flygon, Chuckle. Number seven, we've got Trainer Customizations. Now, this came out in Gen 6. Now, when I say Trainer Customization, obviously, I want it back. That's why I want, because they didn't have Trainer Customization and Mega Rib now Sapphire. It wasn't like the thing I relied on in Gen 6. It wasn't the thing I was obsessed with, like some people. But it was just fun. It was just a cool thing to have in the game. You could change your hair color, your eye color, your clothes. It was fun. I just want to see Trainer Customization come back. And if you're going to bring it back, improve on it. When I say improve on it, I don't mean you don't have to change like the height of someone if they're skinny or bigger. Like you don't have to do stuff like that. Just give them, yeah, more clothes, different eye contacts if you want, uh, new hairstyles. Cause like girls got a lot of hairstyles, guys only got what four. So you know you could improve on that. Give the guys a few more hairstyles. Like I said, I don't obsess on it, but it'd just be cool to get a few more hairstyles. And you know. Talking about hairstyles and stuff, just, you know, could you take off his fucking hats? Number six is evolutions. Just, I want to see some more evolutions. Like, one of the many reasons I didn't like Gen 5 is they didn't have an evolution. You had evolutions through every genera- Okay, look, Gen 3 didn't get an evolution. I love Gen 3. But, yeah, most generations get evolutions. God, Gen 6 brought Sylveon out. I know it was kind of a way to, you know, introduce fairy types because- Sylveon was like one of the first Pokemon they introduced because people saw it and they go, holy shit, Evolution! oh my god, Gen 6, oh my god, what types, it could be normal, it could be flying, it could be fighting a fairy. So it was kind of a way to bring out fairy types, but in Gen 7, yeah, bring out more Evolutions. Because like the Megas, you're going to eventually get Megas for every single fully evolved Pokemon. So same like with Evolutions, there's going to need to be an Evolution for every type, otherwise people are going to lose their shit. Me included. Actually... I was just talking about Megas and Evolutions. Um, if, if they're going to give Megas for fully evolved Pokemon, does that mean every Evolution will eventually get a Mega? Holy shit, that's awesome! There's 18 types, that means 18 Evolutions that get Megas. Holy shit, that's going to be so fucking sick. But, and yeah, for typings for Evolutions, if you're only going to bring one Evolution out like they did with Gen 6, I reckon most people would agree with me when I say, if you're going to bring one out, Make it Dragon. Make it a Dragon Evolution. Bring out Drakeon and it'll just be awesome. And if you're going to bring two out, then don't worry about Dragon. But God, still do Dragon. Bring three out. I don't care. I just want to see a Dragon type Evolution. But if you're just going to bring two out, then I reckon do a Fighting Evolution and a Steel Evolution. Because you kind of got an Evolution for Attack and an Evolution for Defense. Because like obviously Fighting types attacking. And then defensively, you got Steel, which is the best defensive type there is. I think that'd be a great contrast for the two Evolutions. Brawleon and Magneon, wouldn't that be awesome? I just think that'd be awesome. We need new Evolutions. It's about time we get more Evolutions. And yeah, I'd just love to see some new ones. I don't care what type it is. Please make a dragon. Number five is another thing I just want them to bring back. And that's Pokemon Follow You. I just want to see Pokemon Follow You again. It was just such a great thing. In Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and even back in Pokemon Yellow, having the Pokemon Follow You was just an awesome touch. It was just, man, it felt like you were one with them. And it was just, it was awesome. I just... It was only a little thing, but it was just so much fun. The only reason it's below, like, Evolutions, Megas, New Pokemon, the only reason it's below all those is mostly because those other things are kind of, like, a given. Like, they are what you expect in a new generation of Pokemon. You expect new Pokemon. That's the biggest obvious thing. You expect new Megas now, and you expect Evolutions. You expect Fossil Pokemon. And people don't expect Pokemon to follow you because they hardly ever do it now. I just love to see it back. It's so much fun having Pokemon follow you. So just, yeah, bring that back. That's all I got to say about that. Number four is just a better rival. What you've probably noticed is that in most of the generations, 
the rival shit. Like, you do have your good ones. And by good ones, I mean Gen 1, Gen 2. Blue and silver are the rivals that you want. They are the ones, like, they are what a rival's supposed to be. They're someone who is, like, an antagonist, pretty much. They hate to lose. They put you down. And then when you beat them, they're like, I'm going to try and beat you next time. But then, in all these recent generations, okay, they're not shit, the rivals, the newer ones. Because I do like a few of them. I just don't like how they're friends with you. Like, it's good to have a rival that's friends. In the new generation, why don't make two rivals? Like, one that's an enemy, one that's a friend. And I'll talk more about that in a second. But, yeah, it's just, I think that'd be awesome. Just bring a better rival back. One who will actually want to beat you. One who's not just happy. Oh, I lost. Well, you did well, and I'll, I'll just, I'll, I don't think I should be a trainer anymore because you're just too good for me. We don't want that. We want, I will destroy you next time. That's what we want, and I hope in the next generation they do that. Now, number three is what I would like to call freedom of speech. I was thinking of how I could word this. Yeah, freedom of speech is what I'm calling it. And by that, I mean, I just want more choice in the next game. I like games where you can decide on what happens. Kind of like the Walking Dead game. I've played that and it's really awesome. Only the first one. I haven't played the second one yet. But in that game, it's like your decisions, the actions you make, affect the game. That's what I'm trying to get at. Where, like, you can choose two things. Like, it's say, save this person or save that person. And whoever you save, they save and then the other person dies. But you get the choice. So I like that kind of gameplay. So I'd like in the Pokemon game... A It'd be kind of hard for them to do it because you'd have to make like a lot of different storylines for the Pokemon games. But it would be cool. What I was saying about rivals is that it'd be cool. Like imagine you could do something at the start of the game. Like you can make a few decisions. Like I know you don't talk in the games, but like you'd have people who'd say stuff to you. And then if you agreed or disagreed with them, that would make like your rival and you your friend. And then like if you chose the other option, it'd be swapped. The one that became your friend would end up being your enemy instead. I'd love to see that. Even like the enemy team. Like imagine... Back in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, imagine if, because you either had Team Aqua or Team Magma, and then in Emerald you kind of got both. Imagine in Emerald, if like, at the start of the game, like the first time you encountered that, you encountered both enemy teams, like they were clashing or something, and you like got in the middle of it, and then they both said something, and it was kind of like up to you to decide like who like you thought like agreed with or something, like I don't know, just like what you chose then, that decided which enemy team you were going to have for the game, and then the other team kind of, like, be allied with you, kind of? It just, that, that kind of thing. I just love to see more freedom of speech, is what I'm calling it. So just go with it. <laughs> so every game's different. It'd just be awesome. Number two is the Friend Safari. It's another thing I just wanted to bring back. This was in X and Y, and then they didn't have it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Like I was saying, all the way back in I mentioned with GTS, there's Pokemon that are hard to get, like, the starters, fossils. I don't think you get fossils in uh, Friends Safari, could you? I don't think I ever did. But yeah, new, like, starters and really rare, like, Pokemon for that region stuff. It was great. Like, it's not like a normal Safari Zone where you can counter just basic Pokemon. These are Pokemon that are hard to find and you can't find anywhere else. And then on top of that, you know, they increased the uh, shiny encounter rate <laughs> for Friends Safari. So if they could make the uh, shiny rate a bit better, that would be awesome too. <laughs> Um, so you could find rare Pokemon and good chance of them being as shiny. That would just, like, don't make it too easy. Like, we don't want it too easy. It's otherwise, everyone will have shinies and it won't be fun anymore. I just think that would be awesome. Bring back Friend Safari. That's really all I've got to say about that. Just bring back the Friend Safari. A lot of people will be happy about that. Yeah, it would be great. I miss not having that in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because Omega Ruby is like my main game at the moment. And it sucks not having a Friend Safari to go to, you know, or Battle Frontier. Again, I had to say it again. It's just, I want Battle Frontier. <laughs> and the number one thing that I want back in Gen 7 is just evolutions for older Pokemon. Now, the thing about that, just remember, that's, this is me. This is why I want it's my number one. A lot of you will probably have different. But I think a lot of you can agree with me on that. But the problem, and a lot of you agree with me on this too, you're not going to get that really anymore because per certain Pokemon like, um, Absol. Absol is a Mega now. They give Megas to fully evolved Pokemon. Now, Absol didn't have an evolution. They just gave it a Mega evolution straight off. But it means you really can't evolve Absol, like give it a proper evolution now, because you could either Mega Evolve Absol or just normal Evolve Absol. And you'd have to give that Pokemon a Mega evolution as well. And there's no point giving normal Absol a Mega evolution. I just want evolutions for older Pokemon. I know a lot of people want it. It, it just sucks because you probably won't get it. <sighs> it really sucks. But it's just something I want to see. But I mean, even like, connect older Pokemon. Like, people say Tauros and Miltank. Why don't you give, like, both of them a pre-evolution, but the same Pokemon? Meaning, 
that Taurus and Miltank are now in the same evolution line. Wouldn't that be sick? Problem is, it kind of changes storylines though. Like in previous anime and games, like now Pokemon are actually connected to a certain other Pokemon that they weren't before. It just, it changes a lot. But it would be interesting. It'd be a good thing to do. But then you got other Pokemon like Dunsparce, Durant, Stunfisk, Pokemon like that, Pokemon who only, like, don't evolve, Quillfish. I'd like to see evolutions for Pokemon like that. Give some an evolution before they get Mega Evolution, because those Pokemon don't have Megas yet. So, do it now, evolve them, and then get that evolution of Mega Evolution. That's what I'd like to see. It's just, I just want to see some old evolutions. And, you know, like, <laughs> Ditto? Give Ditto an evolution? Mm. I don't know what I want more, a Mega Ditto or just a Ditto Evolution? Um, I don't know. What would you do with a Ditto Evolution? <laughs> yeah, all the evolutions for Pokemon, that's what I want to see. That's my number one thing I want to see in Gen 7. It just sucks that's like the thing most likely out of all these things on my account then that probably won't happen, but you can hope, I guess. So there you go, that's my top 10 things that I want to see happen in Pokemon Gen 7 if or when it happens. And like, it's going to happen hopefully but yeah it's just so many things i want to happen and yeah if you didn't agree with my top 10 make sure you let me know yours in the comment section below and if you liked my video hit that like button and like i said if you love pokemon and you're not subscribed to me then hit that subscribe button as well i'd love to bring you on board let you watch my videos and because i want as many people to see these as possible so and yeah th thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed my video and, and i'll see you in the next countdown